cosplays for example myself so as soon as I'm done throwing on this thing I still gotta get the necklace we're gonna see what we can find see you guys down there the person video you remember how empty it was Friday yeah and not so much anymore remember all the frustration boosts I told you even before that running the line is still massive actually fills up the entire queue line and goes out and around I cannot stress pre-registering enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I had a chance to uh, see this guy and his work yesterday. Did not get a chance to interview him. He does a lot of these uh, little aphid figurines out of uh, the beads. He's got these little small ones for sale that are just like about hand size, just for comparison's sake. But then he's also done some massive ones. You might if I show these. A giant link, and if that's not enough, an even bigger lightning. He also in the back has a giant Metroid ship. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, yourself, how you got into this. Well, it was about five years ago or so, a friend of mine in high school actually started uh, doing these beach rides and she got me into it. And I had never heard of it before, I thought it was the coolest thing ever, so I think it was about five years ago. It's, uh, Founded this company called Beat Sprites and started selling here in Asa. We were the first ones, the only ones to sell here. And everyone that came was like, "Holy oh, crap! I've never seen this stuff before in my whole life." You know, I used to do this stuff when I was a kid, but uh, now now it's like it turned into a lucrative business. I had never thought to make get video game sprites out of it. So yeah, the novelty was, was crazy. But through the very next year, there were three or four copycats. So after that, it kind of blew up. And now every every other table has some Beat Sprite. Stuff. So I, th I think we're, we're still kind of the, the flagship, the original. I think we have quality and quantity. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely have quality. Trust me on that one. <laughs> so um, how long does it take to make some of these? Like from the smallest ones to the largest ones? Yeah, something like this. Um, if you're doing one, one of these like this, maybe like 20, 30 minutes, everything included. So that means laying down the, laying down the uh, beads on the pegboard, ironing them, putting a magnet on the back, maybe total like 25 minutes or something like that. Now if you're doing one of these, like four at a time, then it'll take less time because you're doing it kind of in parallel. You know, so maybe something like that. Something like this, maybe more like 40 minutes, something like that. This, several hours. You have to do it in sections. Um, so I worked on, worked on these big pieces over the course of several weeks. So just, you know, whenever you have free time at work, just do a couple, you know, one, one or two sections and then at the end you iron them all together. So it's definitely, I mean, for, for the prices that I, that I charge, you know, something like this is, you know, obviously it's 9.25 and uh, it takes me down maybe an hour total or do something like that. So I don't, I don't make a lot of money and a lot of profit when all the materials are, are uh, put into it, but, you know, I've always thought of it as a hobby first and business second. So why don't you give uh, everyone your uh, name, your uh, like company name? What, what's that? Say name? Yeah, why don't you give everyone like your company name? Uh, how did I get it? Or no, like your company name. What's your company name oh, for YouTube? Just, just Beat Sprites. Just Beat Sprites. Sorry. Yeah, it's not, it's not an LLC or anything like that. It's just uh, a loose, loosely based company. So. All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much. What's that? Thank oh, you very oh, much. Thank you, thank you very much. Right. You mind if he is still going at it, everyone. It's been not quite 24 hours since I checked on him, but still, you can tell he's progressing a lot. It's like about 10 when I'm checking on him right now. All right, I'll try and swing by and check this out before the dealer room closes. He'll probably be done by then. And for any uh, Gundam or model fans in my audience, check this thing out. This is, life size is not quite accurate, but it's taller than me. <laughs> the 
aside from this giant beast, they also have a lot of other little miniatures of figures in here. Like up here, we have the DBZ sets. And various other guns up here at the front. Um, we have that here too. Okay, why don't you tell all, all less than 300 people that watch my channel who you are? Uh, my name is Nick. I actually am part of uh, my DJ is so bad.com. You probably can't see it. It's banner over there. Hardcore Synergy. Right? That too. Um, what we do is we uh, bring a bunch of Japanese guests and uh, like a like hardcore electronic music artists from around the world to perform at cons more or less. Um, some of them are related to the culture, you know, some of the the music themselves. And we do what we can to pretty much take the international music, or international language of music anyhow, uh, from the hardcore standpoint, um, try to promote them in the U.S. the best we can. Yeah. If it's hard to hear, it's because you can actually hear the music they play going right now. You've been uh, hosting the Hardcore Synergy Ray with Asin for how many years now? Uh, this is our fifth year, actually. Fifth year, all right. Uh, this year is our fifth year. Um, we actually finally got to the bigger room, the, the grand ballroom. Right. That went great. Um, this year, our focus was more on. Um, it actually coincides with the Money Styles um, the video game uh, music rhythm game website. Um, well, I heard you guys get a Final Fantasy going at one point last night. Yeah, it coincides with the 10th anniversary of the Money Style website, so we had a lot of um, artists featured in the Konami rhythm game. All right. So, um, DJ RemoCon, we had M Project, we had Big lineup this year, and we had a great time. <laughs> All right, that's good to hear. Um, you said that the DJs that work at you just kind of contracts. Oh, um, we're friends, you know, we're friends, right? and we just do what we can to help bring them out here. So, um, really laid back and stuff like that, They're just like everybody else. They just wanted to be here to have a good time. All right, just out of curiosity, sake, I don't know if you know it's not. They always have the girls up there dancing with the DJs. Are those just also personal friends, or do they just have like, oh, that's a hot girl, I'm gonna pull her up. That's a hot girl, I'm gonna pull her up. Well, I'm sure it started like that, but we've all become friends since, so we have the regulars that right. come up from that. Okay. All right, is there anything else you uh, want to say before I wrap this up? Uh, website's down right now. Um, ah. Yeah, so we don't have ways to sell music. Um, but we keep coming to uh, more and more cons, and we'd like to go to more cons. Um, so, uh, yeah, so if any cons have interest or anything like that, um, we're more than willing to work with anybody. We don't really have to worry with uh, booking fees or that much. You know, we just want to come here, have a good party, and have a good time. the gaming room on Saturday because as you saw I'm squall which means no annoying bag that's gonna keep me from getting in. They have the connect set up. Let's see what else we got here. just opened up so all I can really show you is about what they have hooked up where. I have no idea what's going on. If I had to guess it's going to be Smash Bros. Girl. Halo Reach, as you can see on the screen. My party is three. Interesting choice. Yep. Okay, I may have lied. They probably could have fit this into the arcade room. It's probably just they brought to me arcades this time. The 
this one's up, and I golden eyes. A very dark screen, but golden eyes. What's up on that one? Here, I saw Marvel. It's probably Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, here we go, some more combat. And this shows up absolutely terrible on my camera. I wish I could just capture card everything and make this so much easier. Oh well. Okay, if it's one of the plasmas, it doesn't screw up. That's awesome. And over here in the corner we have Rock Band going. This is, I don't know. What? I don't know. This. And Call of Duty. God, there had to be one. There you have things up here and here. I have no idea what's going to be going on there, though. I may check back in later, but otherwise this is the gaming room as it's pretty much just opening up. And if you guys want to have tournaments, this is where you go. Big sign right there. If you miss it, you have issues. For the lulls, let's take a look at the registration line. It's actually outside now. There's a drop there. Hello. Say hello to YouTube, everyone that's freezing their asses off to get their badges. Hello. That's why all I have to do is scream YouTube and people shout. Until I say it. Okay. More belts. Oh, I didn't know I was going to win these shoes again. I know. Alright, I want to see where this thing actually ends at. Wait, alright, wait. Thaddeus, Thaddeus. This is how bored I am, people. I have nothing better to do other than see how painfully long this line is. It's actually really, really good. Like, I'm too old. 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 See, this is line I was expecting to show you all Thursday, but they didn't do pre reg So everyone in line, are you now regretting not pre registering? Good answer. We have now found the actual end of the line. To be fair, this could be a lot worse. Like, like um, about tonight for the soap opera. That's going to be a fun line to record. As I said, line con. Okay, Avatar fans, I have a little bit of a treat for you. If she would turn this way. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the most convincing trap I've seen because I thought you were actually a girl until I heard you talk. That's, She's a man. Maybe it's because you were with them. 
Yeah. So, uh, are you the one that made all the costumes? Um, we all kind of did our part. Like, it's I made all that. mine. Yeah, he, he relies on me. <laughs> all right. And um, his, uh, I made his armor, but the rest is borrowed from another one. All right. <laughs> and you, are, of course, are also a Legend of Zelda cosplay. That's how I first got to know you. Um, I know you've also done Princess Leia in that as well. Do you want to give everyone your DeviantArt account so they can check out your work? That bloody pirate. Alright. Anything that Chi Chi want to add? Go Team Avatar. I'm sorry, one more time? Go Team Avatar. Alright. Team Avatar plus Sokka! That's Tylee Sokka. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you. Who needs prom? We have raves! No one! <laughs> Best license plate ever. Alright, at the high school the dead mobile wasn't enough. We now have the Zelda mobile. Back here we got the Ashika Eye. Let's see what else we can find. Oh yeah. Nice big emblem that you always see on the shield. This is beautiful. I'm a little bit worried that the car only has one hard out, three left. A few repairs. Let's see, anything else? Nope. Ah, and it's Saint Epona, of course. We're all currently taking a break. What? I'm worn out. I have no idea what their excuses are. So, I've got them watching the end of Tenchi. Okay. So you guys, is um, final impressions of Tenshi Muleo. Go. It was interesting and certainly entertaining, but it's like, the fuck just happened at the end? Giving yeah. up what? I would like to... Giving up on getting Aieka and Sasan to come back with him. Oh. It's that fucking important? <laughs> it's, it's daddy issues. He's overprotective. Okay. Oh. I it should be the first horror.
This, what's going on down here, is the Homestuck Meetup. As I said at my panel, I know fuck all about it, but it's massive. Just look at that.
I fly a flyer, but I don't want to crush my water. I fly a flyer, but I crush my helmets. I don't have a helmet. Alright, um, we're hijacking things a little bit, or rather they are. These are two of our friends, and because I am out of shit to shoot for now, I'm going to call these guys around. And what is on the agenda for tonight? Not sure yet! To, 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 to get laid. Get booty. Yeah. I should probably wish I don't hang out with them regularly. Okay. All right. Okay. So that was great. One day, me and my friends were all playing games of Uno. My friend brought over the electron like electronic booth, so you had to be fast with it. So like we all did, we all got competitive over it, right? And um, basically, we just started cursing out whoever started winning. I hope you guys. We were just saying the most awful things we could think of, like you have no hair. It's like just awful, awful things. Well, eventually we got tired, and it all just boils down to one single insult: suck dick. Somebody starts winning, they suck dick. Well, our friend was very uh, jokingly enthusiastic about this game, so he was just all like, "Yeah, suck dick, love sucking dick, get all of the dick, all of the dick." So, yeah, just just eat the dick and and just right, right. So. Basically, he flipped the rules of the game that if you were losing, you're sucking dick. Yep, so the dick. more cards you have, the more dick you're getting. Right? All and, the dick. You right, just love getting right, dick. Right, right. So, so basically, we changed the name of the game Uno to Sucking Dick. So, that's what's like connected. So yeah, we've made Uno fun by making the point of the game to shout out as many of Sandy's about Palacio as possible. Sweet. I, I think, I think... So, it, so we're, that, we're that looking for some Uno cards because we're looking to start a game. This is part where I slowly back away. Right! <laughs> Sure. 
This first tradition comes Saturday night. You high five anyone if you walk down the line. Has he been found yet? What? Have you been found yet? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> found? What did you do this time? They're good for the soul. Oh. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any room. Yes. I need I cannot believe I'm actually recording this. What? I can't believe I'm actually recording this. Yeah. 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 High five. High five. Very good. Very good, yeah. sir. Very good. Brains. Right here. Yeah. Brains. See, it's so good for every guy. Back in line. Back in line. Back in line. Back in line. Yeah. 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 I took a break and I thought this was going to be gone, but now it's the seventh run. Alright. Enjoy. Seventh run. There you go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta stop for the picture, though. No. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I understand. There we go. Yeah. Group picture. Or just imagine. I don't think trolling the fam is an appropriate title anymore. <laughs> Oh god, it actually goes around the back. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> wow. This is the line. Quadruple hug. Like I said, line con. You guys too, you need to get in this. I'm filming stuff, I'm good. Now we're getting food in the mix. My food. My Fighter me for your child's birthday party. <laughs> All of the noodles. Keep us up. 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 Keep us
I can actually see this happening at some point. Overhead shots, still not quite done. And unfortunately, I won't be able to see it finished. Sense to you, because it made sense right. to me. 